BitBoy revealed XRP will no longer accepted by any crypto exchange permanently. Nowadays, many are arguing which of the cryptocurrencies has a greater potential for growth. Increasingly, there are thoughts that the supporters of XRP will emerge victorious from this struggle. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. What do you think the maximum price for XRP will be in 2022? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. Ben Armstrong, the author of the Top 1 channel on YouTube BitBoy Crypto on Cryptocurrencies, spoke about a secret document describing a stablecoin from Ripple based on the XRP network. This is a unique event that can lead to an increase in the price of XRP up to $10, or by 1,500% over the next 12 months after the conclusion of the SEC case against Ripple. BitBoy Crypto has no doubt that Ripple will win the court from the SEC, because central banks of various countries will stand up for the cryptocurrency company, after which the process of reverse listing of XRP on exchanges will begin. XRP supporters continue their fight to keep the $1 price they have been waiting for for so long. Two news helped them at once, the first was a forecast from the famous trader Peter Brandt, who tweeted about the formation of XRP, a rare pattern indicating growth. Note that earlier the so-called XRP army wrote a lot of bad things to the trader when he predicted a fall and called XRP a scam. Now their relationship has not improved, everyone remembers his past. But much more interesting was the news about the next hearing in the case between Ripple and the SEC. Ripple's lawyers scored another small victory when they persuaded the court to hand them SEC documents in which they identified Bitcoin and Ethereum as commodities. Their intentions are clear, Ripple's line of defense is largely based on the fact that XRP has the same characteristics of a currency as Bitcoin and Ethereum, therefore, the token cannot be classified as a security. In fact, we are also interested in taking a look at these documents, we hope they will become available to the general public. I would like to understand how strong the SEC's position on Bitcoin is, so as not to worry about tightening regulation. But we doubt a little that this move will allow Ripple to finally prove that XRP cannot be classified as securities. Just answer the question, what does XRP have and what doesn't Bitcoin have? That's right, no private company has printed Bitcoin and does not hold more than half of the coin issue on its balance sheet. In addition, it does not sell Bitcoins to pay its own bills and does not promote it on the market as an investment asset. But XRP has all this in the form of Ripple, and we remember that when the first conversations about the unregistered sale of securities began, they renamed the Ripple cryptocurrency into XRP, and then for a long time drowned that it was correct to call XRP only XRP. But apparently, a simple name change was not enough. According to Ben, this pump had no fundamental reasons and therefore he did not believe in it, but the growth happened and he apologizes for calling such a forecast nonsense. We want to add on our own that the explosive growth of XRP is usually predicted once or twice every month, and it happened just now, but let's go back to Ben. He further stated that he wanted to share a conspiracy theory with XRP supporters. The bottom line is that the SEC is accusing Ripple and personally its founders Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. But there was also a third founder who actually created XRP, his name is Jed McCaleb. Jed has a very interesting biography. First he created the scandalous cryptocurrency exchange of bankrupt MT Gox, the hacking of which in 2014 dealt a serious blow to the entire crypto industry and many considered it the end of Bitcoin. But Jed very successfully sold the exchange in advance and, as if personally, has nothing to do with its bankruptcy, the proceedings on which are still going on. Then McCaleb created XRP, then the coin was also called Ripple, and as one of the co-founders of the company, he was entitled to a large share of tokens of several billion coins. Then there was a conflict of interest among the founders, as a result of which Jed McCaleb was removed from the development and management of the Ripple network and in 2014 actually launched his own fork of XRP, known today as Stellar. Interestingly, after leaving Ripple, McCaleb retained the right to the XRP tokens assigned to the co-founders of the company, 
and now safely sells them every day on the open market. There has been a lot of talk in the community that Jed is actually dumping XRP, but an agreement has been concluded between him and Ripple, according to which sales are proceeding gradually, and it has been repeatedly stated that they do not affect the market rate. After a little historical background, we turn to the most interesting. Ben Armstrong wonders why the SEC brought charges against Garlinhouse and Larson, but did not bring anything against McCaleb, who is also responsible for the release of XRP and regularly trades them. Moreover, as soon as it became known about the court case against the SEC, he significantly increased sales, as if he was trying to throw off as many coins as possible while it was possible. Armstrong does not say this openly, but he clearly hints that the SEC has no claims against Jed McCaleb, because he can cooperate with them and actually laid out the entire Ripple subnote. Moreover, perhaps this is one of the reasons why the court case was delayed for so long, McCaleb could delay the process of transferring information in order to have time to sell as much XRP as possible. It sounds like a conspiracy theory, but that's exactly what Ben Armstrong promised us. And then he concludes that fundamentally XRP is already a dead project. Therefore, no matter what Ripple's lawyers are trying to prove, their actions look like an attempt to keep a good face at a bad game. The whole process is in fact a farce and its completion is known in advance, because if the state wants to destroy something, it will do it and no laws will help. Ripple, the cryptocurrency company behind XRP, recently bought back its shares from Tetragon Financial Group. The move closes a long-standing dispute between the two firms that began after the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple in 2020, accusing the fintech company of selling unregistered securities in the form of XRP tokens. The share buyback boosted Ripple's valuation to more than $15 billion. However, several interpretations of the consequences of the buyout have now appeared on the market. In a series of tweets, CEO Brad Garlinghouse announced that the firm had completed a buyback of shares sold to Tetragon Financial Group. Garlinghouse adds that as a result of the buyback, the value of Ripple has grown to $15 billion. I am pleased to announce that Ripple has repurchased our Series C shares, December 2019, at an estimated $15 billion, said Garlinghouse. He goes on to outline why Ripple was supposed to be bigger than ever in 2022. Garlinghouse notes that despite the difficult times the company faced in 2021, Ripple recorded its best year financially, as it was able to accumulate a $1 billion war chest. The live XRP price today is $0.58 with a 24-hour trading volume of US$1,085,000,000. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 4.8% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to rise to $1? Write your answers in the comments. That's it for today, thanks for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos.